Now let's do one more truth table and let's do it together, right? So let's do the truth table for this compound proposition. And you go ahead and do it this, along with me. So again, first we want to figure out how many variables there are. So P, Q, and R. And R is used twice, but it still only counts as one variable. So again, we have three variables. So we're going to need to use two raised to the power of three. So we're going to need eight rows plus one for the label. So here we're going to insert a table. It'll be three and eight for all the combinations and one for the labels, so nine. And I'm going to make these small. And you go ahead and do this with me. You can pause whenever you need to take a little bit more time or you, if you're faster than me, you can skip ahead. But we want to add all three of these. And there's P, Q. Now we can put the variables in any order we want. This is just a common way to do it. So uh, it's kind of a default way. So I'm going to center those. And again, the combinations. True, false, repeat it all the way down the right. So go ahead and enter that. And then true, true, false, false. Okay, and as you're setting this table up, um, good idea to figure out how this is because you want to follow the same pattern every time because this makes it easy, make sure that you get all of the combinations that you need. So there's the combinations that we need. Now I'm going to do it a little bit different order. Um, before I did it exactly in order of operations. Uh, and in this case, that would be the parentheses. We'd do this one and then we'd do this one. Um, and then we would do the not and then we would do the or. But because at the end I want to be able to do this or this, then I'm going to work on the left hand side first and do all of these and then I'm going to do this one. All right, and that'll just that'll just order things the way that will work out well for this end or operation. And it still won't mix anything up as far as I'm not breaking any rules as far as how they will turn out. So I'm going to start with just the parenthesis part here. And you follow along and do this as well. And make it big enough that you can get it in there. And now notice what we're doing. We're just doing the Q or R. And so we're just doing these two together. So you identify which ones are true and which ones are false and enter them there. And no, notice how this is different than when we did P or Q, right? So it just you have to make sure you're using the right columns to do this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is actually not that. So when I do this, I insert a column to the right and put the label there. Make it big enough. And now notice that all I'm doing is taking the knot of this column. So I can just sit, it's right there, easy to follow. So I can just do that. And you do that as well. Okay, and then next I'm going to do this P or R. So I do the column to the right. And now I'm going to add P or R. This I can make a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to go back and notice that these ones aren't even by each other. So the P or R. So I have to look at them individually and that's true or true. And now I have a true or false and a true or true. So now I just have to keep track of which columns I'm doing, right? So the P column true and the R column false. So there's true. And now I have false and true. That's a true. Oops, look up there, I made a mistake. That was a true and false. I said true, but I typed false. Oops, okay. So go back down here, false or false. Double checking your work is often helpful. Here's a false or a true, and that's true. And here's a false or a false, and that's false. So there I got every combination of true between P or R. And notice when you're doing R, you get a lot more trues than falses. And now I want to use do this or this. So I'm going to add insert the column to the right and be sure you get this column added on yours. And now I'm just copying the whole thing because this is the last thing we need to do. Hopefully I've got enough room here for it. Sure enough, I do. So now notice that this part is in this column. 
and this part is in this column. And I'm just going to combine them with that OR operator. So here's F OR TRUE, that's TRUE, TRUE OR TRUE, TRUE, TRUE. And here we get FALSE OR TRUE, TRUE OR FALSE, OOPS, I didn't mean to change it, TRUE, TRUE OR TRUE. Look what we ended up with. The truth value of this is true, no matter what combinations of P or R or Q you get. The truth value of this end result is always true.